guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be the 50 random facts about me tag. And nobody tagged me, but I figured that since I'm doing a lot of tutorials with a few reviews sprinkled in here and there, that I don't really talk about myself. Not to say that I should, but people who watch my videos probably don't know who I am or anything about me, so I thought I'd fix that with this video. So, so let's get started. I'm a senior in college. No, I'm from New York City, but I go to school in upstate New York. My favorite color is yellow. If you didn't know, well, if you couldn't tell from my um, my bed set, it was always yellow. I don't think you can see it now. You might be able to see it now, but I moved my bed and I rearranged my room. So yellow. I don't like cheese unless it's on pizza. I know, I'm very weird. It's, the tomato sauce helps a lot. I don't like just straight up cheese. It's no, it's gross. It's so gross. I don't like being cold, which is funny considering where I am. It's cold and it's spring. I love to read. I have like my own mini library at home, like shelves just full of books since I've been reading since I've been in um, middle school or junior high. And I've kept my books. I go to Barnes and Nobles, I buy them and I keep them and my mother and my sister are always plotting to sell them. I only like chocolate in candy form. Yeah. I don't like chocolate cake. I don't like chocolate milk. No. And I only like... I like milk chocolate. I like white chocolate. But lately to me, it seems like white chocolate is getting a little too sweet for my taste. I've only recently started eating green tea chocolate Kit Kats. Wait, let me show you what I found this in Chinatown after, like, months and months of looking. Green tea Kit Kats. At first, I didn't like it, but it's growing on me. And now I wish I bought the entire bag. But I didn't because the entire bag was $7. So one of my friends bought it and gave me some. Okay, I studied abroad in Dubai for a semester. That was the semester of 2000 and. 14, 2013 in fall so I left end of August and I came back in the middle of December and I loved it and I want to go back so bad because everything I come back here and everything is gray and boring and I want to go back to the book my favorite TV shows are the Game of Thrones the originals the Vampire Diaries how to Get Away with Murder, that's a new one, but it's a really good. And Pretty Little Liars, and then of course I cannot forget The Walking Dead. The season finale, there are no words, no words. I, I'm a little confused, but there are no words. I don't check my voicemail. I mean, I do, but I don't check it right. Like, I'll just randomly go through it when I'm bored, but... I don't check my voicemail. So if I if you call me and I miss your call, I'll I'll see that you called and I'll call you back. I hate waiting for packages to arrive in the mail. I do. I'm currently waiting on a color a ColourPop haul that I did for the spring collection. I only got this. It's the lipstick I'm currently wearing, and I just posted it on Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should. So yeah, it's the G Givenchy, lots of French up in here, La, La Rouge lipstick in 205 Fuchsia Irresistible. And it's limited edition packaging, which is why every, there was such a, what was it? There was such a hype around it. Like if you follow Trend Mood 1 on Instagram, I think that was like, it was like the best and worst decision. Like, cause now I see everything when it's coming out, so I'm up to date, but then I want to buy it all. I'm supposed to be saving. And I'm still saving up yet. I met in April and I cannot wait. But yeah. It's, the packaging is made out of real leather. And it's so soft and so pretty. And if you want to see what it looks like, if you haven't, it's the first time, this is the first time I'm wearing it. And I really like it. Teen, I'm majoring in linguistics. And no, that does not mean I can speak a lot of languages. I only speak English fluently, and I know some Spanish and some Arabic, but that's about it. Hate inconsiderate people. I do. Like, it's like, why are you here? You're, you're so rude. Why are you on this earth? Right? I am 21. I turned 21 in September, 
I actually think, yeah, I did a birthday haul when I first started my YouTube channel. So, yeah. I have a daily journal. I do. I think it's here. Is it here? Nope. It's in one of my bags. I just got back from spring break on Sunday, and today is Wednesday, and I still haven't unpacked. I hate cabbage. I do. Ever since I was young, my mom, if she made cabbage for dinner, with, you know, with dinner, I would have to eat something else because I, I don't like cabbage. I love ice cream, but not milk. So that means once the ice cream starts to melt, it is done and over with. That is going to the garbage or the nearest person that wants it. I'm an introvert. Yes. So I found this out when I was in high school. Like they made you take a test about your personality and stuff. And yeah. So I don't like talking to large group of people that aren't my friends. I don't like public speaking at all. Oh my gosh. Like I have a presentation to do this semester at, at the, towards the end of the semester, well in April, semester ends in May. In April and I don't even want to think about it because the professor talking about how she's inviting the dean and all these other people and I'm just like, my heart, I don't want to talk please, don't make me do it. I'm a cat person. Well, at least I think I am because we had a cat when I was younger but it wasn't mine, it was my sister's. But I still like the cat, well, until she became vicious. She was like, she was nice, but then up to a certain point, I think people kept harassing her. So she became like really, like she didn't let you touch her. Ready to, like every time I would come home from high school, I'd walk through the door, the first thing I would expect her, like it became a routine, she would attack my feet. So I would keep my shoes on for like a good extra five minutes so she could get whatever that was out of her system and I can go on with my day. One, I passed my road test on the third try. Yes. That was very frustrating. I suck at remembering people's names in the first meeting. Yeah, I do. Um, if we, if we, if we meet for the first time, there's a pretty good chance the second time I see you, I won't remember your name. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't know. It's just that usually when I'm talking to people, especially for the first time, I don't know. I might be getting anxiety, like, I'm just like, oh my god, I'm talking to somebody I don't know. Yeah, talking to strangers is not my first. I have to, like, mentally prepare myself before I talk to people I don't know. And while I'm freaking out, you say your name and I totally did not pay attention. <laughs> I'm too anxious to sneak into a movie theater. I am. I have never done it. Probably will never do it. One of my friends is wants me, wants, is trying to make me do it now. But I'm just like, no, I freak out, feel like the, I'm going to be the one person that gets caught. No. I love tea. <laughs> I do. I'm trying to wait until fin to finish drinking it until after the video. Hopefully it doesn't get cold because my lipstick will come off if I drink that. I used to have a collection of Barbies. I did. When I was younger, I would get them as presents and my mother wouldn't let me open some of them. Planning events stresses me out. They do. Like when I have to plan events for my club, it stresses me out because, well, because they make me do all the work. That's another thing I'm not going to get into. But, yes. Because then I'm freaking out because people aren't doing what they need to be doing. So I could never plan my own wedding. Because then I'd probably, like, have, like, a panic attack <laughs> or something. Or like, on the day of because, you know, something's missing. I'm going to have a wedding planner and that's that. I used to be scared of needles. Yes, when I was little, when I would have to go to the doctor to get blood work done or get a vac vaccination or something. They'd have to hold me down because I was not having any of that. Do not judge me, but I have read all of the Twilight books as they were coming out. So, I mean, I didn't, I think, I'm not one that says, oh, the writing sucks. Everyone says the writing sucks. I guess, you know, whatever. But I am more interested in the story. Like, if it's a good story, I'll read it. As long as the writing's not too bad. One of my favorite fruits is bananas. Bananas. After mangoes. Okay. Mangoes is number one. My mother is Guyanese and my father is Ni Nigerian. And if you don't know where Guyana is, it is in on the northern coast of South America. It's one of the few countries oh, that speaks English. I want to say one of the only country, but I'm not 100% sure about that. I can't swim. Nope. Nope. 
I was I wanted to learn when I was little, but my dad never took me to like pool where they teach you and stuff like that. So I've only been to five states in the United States out, outside of New York. So I've been to New Jersey, of course. I've been to Pennsylvania. I've been to Connecticut. I've been to Vermont. And I've been to Florida, if you count, as a baby when we moved there, but it was too hot. So the doctor said I had to move back because I was getting a heat rash. I didn't go to my high school prom. I didn't. Wasn't interested. None of my friends were going, by the way, anyway, so. I had a party, though. I had a party with my friends, and yeah, that was fun, though. I've never watched The Godfather. Nope. Because I love to travel. I do. I wish I could go, like... I would go to Europe, I'd go to Italy. I would like to go out to Dubai, I'd go to so many other places. Just having, I get hangry. I do. And if you don't know what get hangry is, it's getting angry because you're hungry. And yeah, it's like I know when I'm hungry my head hurts, my stomach hurts, I need to eat something, my blood sugar level is low. Do not talk to me about anything other than the fact that we are going to get food right now. Lately, I've been buying more makeup than anything else. Yep. My shoe collection is severely lacking. I'm not a shoe person. I don't know why. Like, I see nice shoes, but you won't, I won't actively go shopping to buy shoes. I don't know why. I need to fix that because it's like I have a lot of makeup. I even have more hijabs than I have shoes. My favorite number is 5. I don't know why, but that was the number I picked when I was little. I used to have a scooter when I was younger. I did. I love that thing. This is my first time having my own room. Yes. I've never had my own room before and I am loving it. I'm the youngest out of 5 children, which is why I've never had my own room. I've never broken a bone. Nope. I've never done anything that required me to break a bone. I, I attempted to write a book from the 8th grade to the 11th to the 10th grade yeah it was about vampires I tried out for the soccer team in my high school I did that was a very embarrassing memory I wish I didn't do that nine nephews and three nieces I do I'm always hungry especially when I'm bored yes this is true um, if I have nothing to do I will eat I hate mayo I do get vertigo I do. When I was in Dubai, a lot of the buildings, like especially in the mall, they would have like three sets of staircases. You can see everything, and I'm well, so when I'm like, you know, it's like really high. So when I look down, I feel like I'm just gonna tumble out of the escalator and kill myself. So that's it for this 50 random facts about me. Um, please thumbs up if you liked it. If you've done a video like this, you know, let me know and I'll check it out. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be um, a fresh face makeup tutorial.